What's up guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new, hi I'm Sin and welcome to my channel and let's just get into these lashes guys. These are from my website. These are my 25mm lashes, only $10 and they're in the style trophy wipe. Link is always in the description box and so is a coupon code for you guys. So in today's video I'm going to be reviewing this 613 pair from Atos Wigs or I don't know how to pronounce it but link will be in the description box and everything like that. So basically... They contacted me, sent me this wig, so I'm going to try it on for you guys. And on the inside, it has three combs, two on the outside, one in the middle. It also has lace in the back, and it also has a uh, elastic, not elastic band, but, well, I guess you could say elastic band in the back. So, basically, all I'm going to do is cut the lace off, put the band together, and then just put the wig on. And also, again, guys, let's get into those lashes. You see them, I know you see them. So I'm putting them on. I had trouble kind of putting them on because my wig cut kept sliding back because as you can see, I don't do the ball cap method. I just haven't tried it yet. I will in the future, but not with this wig. But guys, when I put this wig on and looked at myself, yeah, I just kept looking and laughing. Like I couldn't take myself serious with this color hair on my head. Like I just feel like I'm too dark for it. Like it's just not going to work. But I still was going to try it, but guys, my lashes were so big, and this lace was all on my lashes, like, pushing them down. I was looking like a dopey from the Seven Dwarfs, <laughs> like, I could not take myself serious, but I just basically, you know, just trying to brush it out. One thing I did notice with this hair is that it is long, and synthetic hair is prone to tangling, but y'all, the ends, really, like, as I brushed the hair down, all the tangles went to the end and just would not brush out, no matter what, like. I kept, but I kept trying, but they just would not brush out, but, but yeah, I had to keep pulling the lace up because it was all over my lashes, but I'm just going to keep trying to brush it out, it's not working, but I just kept trying. And as you guys can see, I was not feeling this, like I really was not feeling this color on me at all, but I'm just going to turn around into my vanity mirror so that I can kind of look at the middle part, see if it's in the middle, adjust it as needed, and then I honestly don't know what I did next. Oh, I just kept trying to fix the middle part. I thought that I was about to pluck that thing, <laughs> but yeah, I changed my mind so quick after that. Put on tweezers right now. And now I'm going to take my Got To Be Glue Free Spray. And that's what I'm going to use to, quote unquote, glue my wig down. Because since I was going to take this off, like, literally after this video, I wasn't going to use my good glue. So, basically, I just made sure everything was straight. Took the spray. I tested it first. I always test your Got To Be Glue Spray. Because if you spray it and it's not spraying correctly, you're going to have a mess. But, basically, I just sprayed it across my perimeter where I wanted it to be at and then just let it dry for a few minutes and then that was it. And then I went in to where the middle part was just to make sure that the middle part, all the hair was straight. There wasn't no hair across the middle part. And to make sure that I wasn't gluing the middle part down. So I would go in and brush it with my brush. And then I took an angled brush with my face powder and went down the middle part. Because if I'm going to have a Kim K slick back middle part, you're going to see that thing. So I just took face powder and went down the length of the middle part because I felt like it was going to help when I turned around to the camera. It really didn't do much, but I still went back and added some more, you know, hoping that it would help. So just trying to, you know, you got six inches of parting space, you know, why not use it? And 
and then here like the lace was getting on my eyes again but when i lift it y'all for some reason my eyes started to burn i do not know where it was from or what i don't know but that thing made my eyes burn i don't know what it was but now i'm about to start to cut the lace off because i got tired of the lace being on my eyelashes so i just kind of cut slits up in there to let my eyes breathe to let my lashes fly i said please because that lace was it wasn't giving me freedom so i just was cutting it off like that and as i cut it pieces that started to stick up i just put some more free spray on them and just try to stick it down while i go and cut the other pieces and i just kept doing it till i had all the lace cut off and here we are but the side pieces really wouldn't stick down like how i want it so i just kind of let that be honestly then i took my powder brush that i used for my contour and tried to like put it where the makeup had got wet at the top of my face from the free spray and also on the lace which made it get on the hair a little bit but actually kind of helped in my favor to kind of color the i guess roots yeah, I kept cracking cracky jokes in my head, y'all. That's why I kept smiling and laughing at myself. But, honestly, I couldn't say that it looked too bad. It wasn't ugly, ugly. But it, in my head, it wasn't something that I would, like, wear out in public. But those ends, guys, guys, like, I could not take it no more. I was steady trying to brush it, but literally, all I could brush was the top, was the top. The ends was not working with a girl. It was not working with your sister at all, like... I would have never wore this in public with the ends like this. So I went and I cut it off. So came back, boom, here we are, looking like a Russian porn star or something. I don't know. I don't know why I just said that. <laughs> but yeah, low key, I really did like, you know, I thought I cut it. I kind of did like it a little better. I honestly wish I would have cut it just a little bit shorter, but I didn't want to go messing it up because your girl can't cut. That's why I didn't cut on camera because I didn't want to show y'all what not to do. But if you guys would like me to, see, to show you another video where I cut some hair because I have a burgundy bob that I might wear in here sooner or later that I actually cut myself. So I'm just kind of practicing. But if you guys would like to see me practice cutting, I will bring a video with another wig and cut it. But y'all, yeah, as you can see, I was feeling myself a little bit with this hair like this on the side, you know, but it didn't have an actual part. So I ended up just kind of Flipping it back to the middle, which y'all, the side part had me feeling good. But I was looking like that because I thought I heard somebody come into my room. So I was kind of mean mugging. But I really did like it like this. Like, y'all, y'all can see I was really feeling myself. Your girl was feeling cute. And as soon as I flipped it back to the middle part without brushing it, they came to my room to see what I was doing. But so I'm getting the middle part back. And now you guys, I'm getting my flat iron so that I can straighten this mug. I don't know the um, heat resistant temperature or whatever. I had it on 410 and I ain't gonna lie to you guys. It was one good time that I went there and did a pass and that thing started to smoke, but I didn't care. I still kept going, but it was 14 and it, it didn't melt at least. Um, but I would recommend brush the hair before you flat iron it because if you flat iron it, and it's a knot, a tangle, or whatever. It is going to burn it in place. Like, you're going to have to end up cutting it out. So, brush it. Then flat iron it. Do not flat iron it if it's not straight. If it's not tangle free. You see, I was about to put it in there. And I went and got my brush. Like, hold on now. Don't be going to mess with the people wig. You ain't got the people thinking that the wig ain't no good. It will flat iron. But if you put that thing through there with a tangle, that's the end of your wig, sis. But I just kept brushing it. And then it got to the point where I just took the brush and flat ironed it with the brush because it was a tangle at the end that just would not come out. And I was like, I know you're not. I know you're lying. Don't be trying to tangle. And I just cut all the hair off. Like, yeah, the hair was literally to my butt and I cut it up to my shoulders. Like, don't be trying to tangle up again. But I just kept brushing it. And then as you can see, now I put it with the flat iron and flat iron with the brush. Because I'm telling you, I do not flat iron this wig and it got a tangle in it. You will regret it. And yeah, here I was looking at myself and I was just like, a middle part is not for me. My head is too long. I look like the girl from Fishtails. If you guys remember Fishtails, I'm going to put a picture up so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But I was so dead in my head when I thought about that. Good. 
And yeah, I was honestly just sitting there thinking like, I would never wear plain 613 hair like this, honestly. So, really I want to dye this a color, like kind of like gray or something. I might just go into like a, a fabric store and look at different color fabric dyes and bring you guys a video on me trying to dye this hair. But I finally decided I'm going to wear it in the side part. So I went ahead and flat ironed it to the side, you know, laid it, laid it, laid it to the side or whatever. But yeah, I really liked it better to the side. I honestly didn't like it in the middle because I feel like my head is too long for the middle part. So I just, I really wasn't feeling it. But this is honestly like the final look. Like this is how I kept it. And as you guys can see, the end still was trying to tangle on a girl. But anyway, I really liked it. This is it. So I'll see you guys in my next one. This is Sin signing off. Love you guys. Peace. Sin, Sin City was made for you. Angels like you.